one of the common questions that I'm asked all the time is, what can I do to share my own experiences in VR on YouTube or Twitch or if I want to stream or record content, how can I get into that using the Quest device as a standalone device or the Quest 2? I've approached this a number of times. Uh, Oculus Developer Hub is a very cool tool that you can actually share your screen to the PC. I've used that a lot. I've also used Airstreamer, which is an application that you can purchase. I've used Visor. I've used SCRCPY or Scrappy uh, or Screen Copy, as it's actually abbreviated from. And I've tried using SideQuest as well. All of these things are things that do work and based on your needs and your abilities, uh, you can certainly use to stream gameplay from your Quest or Quest 2 to your PC. But recently, in the past few months, Oculus made it even easier to do that by allowing you to stream directly to your web browser. If you use oculus.com slash casting, you can actually stream directly to your PC. And I'm going to show you a little bit about the different features that they've added since then even to make it even better. So inside the headset, what we're going to do is go to sharing right here, then click on cast. And then we'd click on computer. Now when you do that, uh, any computer that's on the Wi-Fi network that your Quest is on, you can go to oculus.com slash casting. And we're going to pick it up from when we go there. So you can see the options that are available. All right, so we've got the website up. Again, this is oculus.com slash casting. And once you've hit the start casting from computer, it comes to this particular site and it's actually going to load up what you're about to see on the screen. So we've got widescreen crop as an option. We click on that. This gives us that nice wider presentation that can be used for 16 by 9 in videos uh, when you're creating content. We've got the headset microphone either muted or unmuted. When you have it unmuted, it is taking the microphone audio directly from your headset. Sometimes people have sound sync issues with that, so they don't want to have that sound carried over. If you do this mute here, this is actually the volume from the headset. So you can control the volume of the audio being output to the PC in your stream. So if you need to change the audio level or things of that nature, rather than having to mix that audio separately, you actually have the ability to fine tune, either raise or lower the audio right here from the streaming window. And then finally, this last one, it's going to blow it out a bit because I've got the screen cropped, but it'll actually make it full screen on your PC. So if you wanted to do a full screen window, you could actually share it that way as well. I love the fact that Oculus has given us more sharing tools um, and more options. Some people don't want to have that widescreen crop. They want to have the square image. Some people want to have their own microphone audio that they control as opposed to using the Quest microphone audio. And some people want to mix the sound differently. So you can actually raise and lower the volume. And sometimes that sound is out of sync, so you want to actually match it later. So you can record the source audio in a separate channel than your own. Overall, I like these features. I think these are a good improvement. Still a ways to go to make the perfect capture experience, but I wanted to highlight these today.